Hello everyone. In this video, we shall see about what is a star network and what is a delta network and how to convert star network to a delta network and a delta network to a star network. First, we shall see what is a star connection. If the three resistances are connected in such a manner that one end of each is connected together to form a junction, then it is called a star point. And these resistances are said to be connected in star. Okay. Now we shall see about what are all the ways three resistances can be connected to form a star network. See, here we can see that a Y network, a T network are connected in star fashion. Now let us see how three resistors can be connected in delta connection. If the three resistances are connected in such a manner that one end of first is connected to first end of the second and the second end of the second to first end of the third and so on to complete a loop then the resistances are said to be connected in delta fashion. Now let us see how we can connect three resistors in delta manner. It can be also called as pi network. The first one shows the delta network. The second diagram is shown as pi network. We shall see about how a star can be converted to delta connection and how a delta connection can be converted into a star connection. We have certain formulas to convert star to delta and delta to star. To convert a star to delta, that is, if we take three resistors as RA, RP and RC in star connection, the delta network has RAB, RBC and RAC. We can obtain it by RAB is equal to RA into RB plus RA, RC plus RB, RC divided by RC. Similar manner we can get for RBC and RAC. We must also note that if we have all the resistances in the star network with the same value, let us consider like this, if RA equal to RB equal to RC equal to R, then RAB is equal to RBC is equal to RCA is equal to 3R. For example, if we take RA equal to RB equal to RC equal to 5, then RAB is equal to RBC equal to RCA is equal to 3 into 5 which is 15. Conclude that uh, the uh, 3 resistance in delta connection will be of 15 ohms. Now we shall see about the formulas used to convert delta connection to a star connection. If we have resistances named in delta connection as RAB, RBC and RCA then in star connection, it can be converted as RA, RB and RC. We can take RA as RAB into RAC divided by RAB plus RAC plus RBC. Similarly, we can find out for RB and RC. Now, we must also note that if we have all the resistances in delta connection as R, that is equal resistances, then in star network it must be converted as RA equal to RB equal to RC equal to R divided by 3. Comparative table of star to delta and delta to star connection has been shown here. These formulas must be kept in mind to solve all the problems related to star to delta connection. Now let us see the problem. First problem is to convert the given circuit to star connection. From the circuit, we can see that all the three resistances are connected in delta fashion and we have a formula for converting it into star network that is we have already seen the form. Here we can consider that RAB is equal to 5 ohm, RBC is equal to 10, RCA is equal to 15. If we use these values in the formula, we can get RA, RB, RC or it can be named as R1, R2 and R3. Let us see. The R1 can be obtained by multiplying 10 and 5 and dividing it by the sum of all the resistances and we obtain the value as 1.67 ohm. In the similar manner we can find out for R2 and R3 and we can substitute those values in the star network and we get the result as star connection. 
We shall see the next example convert the given star connection into a delta connection. Here also we must be using the formula which is already been explained and when you sub these values in those formulas we will get the values for this delta connection and here is the result for the delta connection which we have got from star connection. Let us see the third example calculate the effective resistance between the point A and B. If you see the circuit it is much more complicated and we can't do it by series and parallel resistance uh, reduction method. So we go for star to delta or it can be delta to star. Let us analyze the circuit first then we can move on to find out how we can solve this problem. First we shall add up the series connected resistances and then we shall move on to star to delta or delta to star reduction. See in the circuit we have uh, two series connected resistances. One is 2, 2 and 3. The other one is 4, 2 and 5. First we add up all these and we get the equivalent for this. And the, now the per circuit has been partially reduced and we get uh, 2 plus 2 plus 3 as 7 and the other one as 11. This is the circuit we have got. And from the circuit if you see the further reduction can't be done using series and parallel formula. So we are going to move on to delta to star or star to delta. If you see in the middle you have the resistances as 3, 6 and 6 which is a delta or it can be called as pi network. And it must be converted into star network to move on to further reduction. So we will do that first. When we convert this uh, pi network to a star network, we get the values as 0.2, 1.2 and 2.4. Now we shall easily uh, redu reduce the circuit for uh, further reduction and we get uh, 7.4 and 12.2 which can be done in parallel then we get 4.6061 then it is in series we get 7.8061 then this 7 and 7.8061 are in parallel and we move further doing parallel now we get the equivalent resistance as rab is equal to 3.69 ohms we shall see the fourth example Find the equivalent resistance between P and Q in the circuit. If you see the circuit, you thought that it has two delta connection, but it is not so. Because if you consider three resistances, then the third resistance will not be the delta part of the next side of this circuit. Okay, so there is only one delta connection and you can either convert the upper delta or the lower delta into a star. That is your wish. But in this problem, I have taken the upper delta connection and it is uh, A, B, C which is 12 ohm, 18 ohm and the 6 ohm. Now we shall convert this delta connection into a star connection to reduce the circuit further. We use the delta to star formula and we get Ra as 6 ohm, Rb as 2 ohm and Rc as 3 ohm. We substitute those values in the circuit and reduce the circuit further. Now the circuit looks simpler and we can convert this Rb and R4 as series and Rc and R5 as series. So we get 18 plus 2 as 20 and uh, 12 plus 3 is 15. So this uh, 20 and 15 will be in parallel and then it will be in series with the 6 ohm. So after uh, reducing all the formulas and equations we get the resultant as R equivalent is equal to 14.571 ohm. We shall see the fifth example. In the circuit shown find the resistance between M and N. If you get a problem like this and the circuit is towards inward or outward, we must always remember that we must reduce the circuit from inside to outside. That is we have a 
delta connected in the circuit we have two deltas as we see there is an inner delta and the outer delta first we have to convert the inner delta and then we have to convert the outer delta so that the problem will be easier to solve so we shall see the first delta 3 5 and 2 if you reduce the delta to star connection you get the values as 1.5 0.6 and 1 by using the formulas we have already mentioned okay so next if you take this star connection and we have to fix it in the circuit we shall reduce the circuit further here we can see that 6.5 and 1.5 are in series 9.4 and 0.6 are in series and uh, 1 and 9 are in series so we can add up and we get a star connection as 8 ohm 10 ohm and 10 ohm now we can see that the inner star must be converted to a delta and we get the values as 26 26 and 32.5 ohms if we convert the star to delta furthermore if we draw the delta inside the outer delta we get the circuit like this and if you note the question it is given as the resistance between m and n the node l should be neglected and we can do parallel connection between these two we so we get 30 parallel with 26 30 parallel with 26 and 32.5 parallel with 30 now we get the parallel connection values and we substitute it to form the delta connection now if you want this delta to be reduced as we have neglected the l 13.9 and 13.9 will be in series so you, we must add these two and the value we get will be in parallel with 15.6 that is why we have got like rmn which is the equivalent resistance as 9.99 ohm hope you have understood the concept of converting the star to delta and delta to star connection we have started from a simple circuit to a complicated circuit solve some more complicated problems for better understanding of star to delta and delta to star connection thank you all